where you are watching us from. This is an English edition of Dalsan TV. My name is Abdurazak Ali. Let's have a look at some of the stories that are making headlines here in Somalia. Mogadishu court orders death of a man accused of burning his wife to death. Government seizes 7 million US dollars, shuts down terrorist linked accounts. PM Hamza takes decisive action at Mogadishu airport. Hirshabele president fires middle Shabele governor, appoints new mayor. Welcome back. Sayyid Mualim, who was accused of burning his wife to death, has this afternoon been sentenced to death in a case that attracted national outrage and interest in the last two months. The Benadi Regional Court sentenced Sayyid Ali Mualim Daoud to death on Wednesday for burning his pregnant wife, Lul Abdi Aziz, to death in Mogadishu in January 2024. During the trial, Daoud admitted to starting the fire after having a dispute with his wife but denied intending to kill his wife, disputing the murder charges against him. The prosecution presented evidence including the chaired remains of Abdaziz's phone and testimonies from eyewitnesses, including her children, who built their cases against him. Despite the court mentioning that an appeal is open to Daoud, family members of Lul welcome the court's decision. Najah, one of the relatives of the deceased, thanked the public and the media for showing support to Lul to get justice. The victim, Lul Sheikh Abdi Aziz, was a respected employee at Aden at the International Airport and the mother of six. She died at Erdogan Hospital from injuries she sustained in the blaze, which the prosecutors allege was ignited by Daoud following a domestic argument. The mayor of Mogadishu, Yusuf Hussein Jim'al Madale, pledged to support Lul's orphaned children, providing both financial assistance and social services to the to help the children cope with the less of with the loss of their mother and the traumatic circumstances surrounding her death. The Prime Minister of Somalia, Hamza Abdi Barre, has addressed concerns over Aden at the International Airport after a visit to the airport and met with stranded passengers. Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre who visited Mogadishu Airport has instructed the Ministry of Transport and Civil Aviation and Travel Agencies to address the complaints of the passengers and waive the charges that resulted in the standoff. The PM met with the passengers, apologized for the inconvenience caused. Hundreds of passengers were stranded Wednesday at the main airport in the Somalia capital, Mogadishu, after local operators cancelled flights in a protest against an extra fee on all local ticket purchases. Scenes were chaotic at the domestic flights terminal of the Aden Ada International Airport, with thousands across Somalia missing their flights. The seats in waiting lounges were full so many strolled about or sat on their bags or the floor. The Somali government has seized 7 million US dollars, closed 670 telephone numbers, and shut down 110 merchant accounts reportedly linked to the terrorist group Al Shabaab. Somali government has seized 7 million US dollars, closed 670 telephone numbers, and shut down 110 merchant accounts reportedly linked to terrorist networks. According to a statement from the government on Wednesday, these numbers and accounts were used by terrorist networks to threaten, extort, and hoard money from Somali businesses. The, gov the government also urged citizens who encounter financial activities re related to terrorism to inform financial and security agencies to address the threat immediately. However, the government did not provide further details regarding where the money was seized, the duration of the operation or whereabouts of the, of the people arrested. Last year, the government closed around 250 accounts linked to militants in four bank accounts and also disrupted the network and data services approximately 70 mobile phones used by militants.
to transfer money. Al Shabab has funded itself for years by exhorting mis businesses in Mogadishu and collecting taxes in areas under its control. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed declared a total war against Al Shabab shortly after being elected in 2022. The president of Hirshabel State of Somalia, Ali Abdullahi Gullawe, has announced that the governor of the Middle Shabel region, Ahmed Meire Makaran, also known as FAL, has been dismissed. The president of the Hashabel Regional Administration, Ali Abdullahi Hussein Gadlo, announced on Tuesday that the governor of the Middle Shabel region, Ahmed Meire Makaran, also known as Ahmed Fail, had been dismissed. Mohamed Mohamed Noor, known as Masdal, has been appointed as the new governor of the Middle Shabel region. Ahmed Meir Mokaron, who held the position since 2016, became the longest serving governor in the Middle Shabel region. During Mokaron's tenure, nearly 10 governors were in charge of the Hiron region. The governor's removal coincides with President Gadlo's appointment and reshuffling of some of his Council of Ministers on Monday night. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Abdurazak Ali. Till we meet again, have a lovely evening.